So. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh. Where are those at compared to like? I don't know. It's never been this issue. Try out settings. Microphone. Oh, no. What's the name of that? Uh, Jabra, but. The Samsung, that's the no, it's job. Or something. It's coming through on the TV. Ashley, will you say something? Make sure we can hear okay in here. You're muted. Ashley, can you hear us? Thumbs up. Okay, could you say something too so we can see if we can hear you? But you're can you hear me? Yeah, oh, yeah okay, go. that'll work. Yep. Uh, council. Yeah. It's uh it's French. It's French. Okay. I think we're good, yeah. Welcome everybody. Glad to see you all here. Um, so we start off with the approval of the October 20th meeting minutes. Okay. Anybody to prove it? I will approve it. Any seconds? Awesome. Okay. We are good. So let's get started on committee member reports. Um, is Shelly here? Nope. Shelly is not here. Okay. We may be given only a long time timeline in general. So typically in March, we start asking for people to apply. And then a few weeks before the show, Shelly and I sit down and look at all the auditions. And um, that's worked fine. Mm -hmm. Or they send them videos. And in the past, that's worked well. The one thing we were trying to do this year is cast a little bit wider net because we've had several repeats in the show over the last three years. And so we're going to try some different things, working with the schools, maybe some talent, like local talent show type things. Just trying to find some ways to get some new performers. Awesome. I like the tapping into school side. Yeah. That's not me. I think when we can switch to their um, talent shows, they might be able to get a but the next one. Yeah. So you can have a pretty long, it's my sister, or anything like that. <laughs> um, but I think that it's earlier than March, so if we give a nice up, they can just have it. Yeah, as long as it's really nice. Yeah. Because, like, my daughter's junior high is doing it, I think, at the beginning of February. Yeah, I was thinking, okay. that, like, now. Now is the time. Which one are you playing? Halo 2. Uh, yeah. Not Halo 2. Okay, so are we good with Orange Got Talent, Pete? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so next, boutiques with Ashley. All right. Um, I don't know if there's a ton new. Um, the only thing is, have we opened our applications? No, they're not open yet. Are you ready okay. for them? Um, I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to do the like payment and, and picking spots. Cause I, you know, we've, we kind of talked about that last time and in, in trying to figure that out. Um, but I'm still leaning towards that. Maybe like having them fill out their application and then close it at some point And then, um, I don't know if it's can be like a first come first serve because there's so many people that are so you know adamant of where 
they are every year. Um, right. But if I give them enough time to say, hey, this is the day that we're going to open it. You guys have been approved. Now get on and pick your spot and pay all in one. And then it's just done and done. Um, so I'm trying to figure out the logistics of that, but I haven't gotten super, super far on that. Um, I would say we're fine to open up. Um, there, was, there was nothing in the application that needed changed? I don't think so. I don't think yeah. so. I think that we're fine on the application. I think it's fine to be open. I, in fact, I've gotten several people asking when it's opening. And I just figured it was sometime in January anyway. So I say let's go ahead and open that. Um, and then we should be fine. I don't think it needs to change um, other than, you know, could, no, because last year we had kind of the yeah, rough idea of where they want to be. Um, and I mean, you can still specify if they wanted a double or, or a single and, and we'll go from there. But I think opening it, I think that we're on track. So I think that's really all that we need to do at this point cool. for boutique. We'll do it. Did you say that they get to choose their own spot? Possibly. We're, we're possibly thinking that if, I mean, because that might be a lot of headache off if, because there was a lot of, a lot of tears last year of where I stuck people and they were not happy about it. So it, it's just, gets really, really hard. So I'm almost thinking that if there's a way to say, Hey, you know, pick your spot, pre, even premium, pay a premium to pick the spot. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far in, in my thinking, but it, I've, I've done it with other cities. Like when we did the sunglasses booth and we did it in other cities, like it was kind of like, this is what we have. And, and it shows you who's next to you. So it's not a conflict of interest if there's two, you know, sunglass spots. And that's why I usually tried to pick them because then I can put, you know, one sunglasses booth on this side and the other on the other side of the park and toys and light ups and, you know, all kinds of things. I try and spread them out. So it's, but that's where the problem was that that one of the face painters didn't didn't get where she wanted and and it was too close to the other one but they wanted to be together but who knew so anyway i don't know i haven't gotten that far like i said in that charge a premium price for them to pick their yeah. spot. I don't know if that would be a good thing. Yeah. So, cause, and there was, a, we did the outer rim last year. It was, was premium spots and they actually cost more because most people want to be on the outsides. But then some of them were like, I shouldn't have paid more for this. This is not a premium spot. So I was like, ah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like just the premium is the fact that you get a pick. Yeah. And that's, and, the, and that's, yeah. and that's what I'm trying to think. Like if you just want to be stuck somewhere, it's this price. If you want to pick your spot, you can pay a premium spot and so on and so forth. That's great. Yeah. I like that. So that's the only thing that I'm thinking about changing. So, and I think it may have some good, um, people may respond, you know, well to that. So, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like an airline. Yeah. <laughs> right? How many bags did they Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> One carry on. <laughs> if you want to drive up to your booth, it costs I, Exactly. You can start two hours earlier than the title. I do like <laughs> the idea of being able to consider what's going yes. right? on, Yes. As opposed to us having to make yes. a call. That's yes. Yeah, I like that a lot. Perfect. Okay, that's it. it. Awesome. Yep. Thanks, Ashley. Okay, food vendors, Jim and Tim. Um, I talked to Pete just a couple days ago, and we are going to open it up February first, and probably close it roughly March eleventh. It would take maybe a day. And I just need to review the word you have to see if you could send me a text or email me more just a reminder of uh, lost material. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, and the only thing I wanted to do was clarify 
do we want to allow food trucks into the food vendor area? Because we haven't let them before, right? We had a couple last year. The problem is, it seems like you always get a sponsor who ends up being a food truck. And that's where it starts to get a little fuzzy. So we need to make that decision yes or no, or if they're a sponsor, yes or no. Yeah, food trucks, because I feel like the same foods are always available. And they are specific, like fair type foods, but I feel like with food trucks, you get a lot more variety available to choose from you kind of get stuck in the same exact thing and maybe that's other maybe that's it works and but why do you just have to because i think they're becoming more of a safe way they're more common that's my daughter look up for the directory they're much larger I just pick up so much better. Really and and so I don't know if we can say, okay, we'll have 18 vendors and maybe yeah. four food trucks, something like that. Oh, there are two four. We sure every day is fine with food trucks if we take a couple. I can't take, I can't take four. So no, I can take two regular vendors. It's 22 vendors, which is like those more. Yeah, that's what the kind of shoot before just normal. Yeah. And so you have to lose some vendors if you did food trucks. Because food trucks take up two spaces. Two to three spaces. Oh. Up to 30 and two young people. And the other thing we have, yeah. we have the typical 10 by 10 thing, and then we have food trainers. Oh. Trainers, if they sell at the end, are great. If they sell off the summer, they also take up for you for stretch. So. Is there any more food space? space? We could yeah, we're all standing for that. We're pretty limited. Yeah. Just like like a limited number, like four food trucks total, and then the rest. And but you have to include the trailers on that, so that would be your. Yeah. And last year, I don't remember. I haven't gone back and looked at my pictures of those, but I want to say we probably had thirteen or fourteen ten by ten areas, and probably four or five trailers. Trucks. And how many sponsors do we have with food trucks this year? Do you know? Well, we'll probably allow four. So like we don't have, have any right now. But they would take out those four food trucks. Yeah, well, they're, they're not that the uh, trucks. Yeah, because the quality is always good when they want to be. Now, we had talked about just starting to charge by um, space. How long they, right? How much, uh, what's, what's the word? Frontage? Yeah, frontage. 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 Yeah, litter feet or frontage. Then you can bring the video to our, but I mean, we still have to be reasonable, but you pay more to have it because you're not got somebody else. We have to have enough though that the lines don't get so long because there's a limited number. The number we had last year, the one, you know, we've always, we can stay in between 21 and 24. Yeah. Uh, 24, we kind of found probably a little bit too much. I think last year it was 22, if I remember right. And that was about perfect. Yeah. So, Okay. I like having the limited number too, like you said. I like having some variety, but have the. So I, mean, I think it's a good idea to charge that with your feet too, though. Know? Like how much you're taking, you know, this is what you get. If you go beyond that between this and this and this much more, if you go longer than that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of these places have two or three food trucks, and they have like, and a waffle one I've seen there, they have one that are longer, one that are shorter. And if they could bring a short truck, that might be better. <laughs> Give them the encouragement to do such. My kids would really love it if you could reach out to cup off. Well, maybe they have multiple trailers and trucks themselves too, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I guess at the end of the day, we just try to shoot for that number of food vendors. What what we'll do is as we start to bed and things like that, we'll just kind of see how things start falling out. Okay. Kind of go from there. Is part of your application length? It will be. They usually give us yeah. some kind of. They usually don't give us the truth though. <laughs> <laughs> usually it's uh, four or five feet shorter than they say. They never check the generator and something on the back. Well, which is maybe we collect payment on site. Okay. Is that? I mean, that's the only way around that, right? right. As you measure up, you say, okay, you're taking up 25 feet. That's going to be 
Too bad. Just add an asterisk at it. If your your measurement is not correct, you're subject to a hundred dollar fine. Maybe that way we can either put some way out. Well, I think people would still lie and they're like, hey, I can get in cheaper for a hundred bucks. Okay, so I'm just saying, like, we have the technology now to just um, charge them on the spot. So maybe we just do that. Yeah, I kind of worked with what that looks like. Yeah. I wonder if we, if we could work with the county health department that if they haven't paid, they don't get their mm. health permit they need to sell. Anyways. We can figure that out. Yeah, we yeah. can work with that. Okay, awesome. Anything else? No. Okay, thanks. Okay, and Turner. Uh, yeah, so I got with Sally. She gave me her old binder, and I've got like, I don't know, I, I lost count of the boxes that are in my shed now. <laughs> and I go through, and I've reached out to a few of the vendors. She said to like reach out to like right away. So, like, I sent some emails, and I haven't heard back yet, but I was planning on calling them tomorrow to like make sure. Um, she so she gave me like a list of the vendors that we've had in the past um, that have come, like Home Depot and like uh, the, the, the hair people. I think Paul Mitchell is what it is. Mm -hmm. And so I reached out to a few of those and I just basically just follow through with that and find out what's. Um, I told her that because she said that Home Depot sometimes is wishy washy, like they don't have enough or they just can't come because they have to have enough of their own Saturday thing. But like I know that I swear that Lowe's does the same thing, but I could be wrong. And so I told her, Lowe's does. So she's like, well, Home Depot's always been like a kind of like a sponsor. And I was like, well, that's fine. But like if they can't support it, that's so let me handle that. Okay. Don't be worried because I've already talked to, I mean, I've already reached out to Home okay. Depot, but I can reach out to those. Last year, Home Depot couldn't do it because of COVID. We may be in that same, that same space this year. And, and that might be true. Yeah. She just was saying that they've been always like limited on their number of um, the, the supplies they could bring because they wanted to make sure they had enough. Their like things at their store, which makes sense. And I was like, well, why don't we reach out to Lowe's when we have the option? They're both here in Orem. I can do that. I'll look into Lowe's. Too. So, okay. Thank but, you. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. John is not on here, right? No, John. No, John. But I do know he has reached out to schedule. Mr. Uh, Casey Hackett. Casey Hackett. So, which is kind of the big thing. We have the pavilions reserved, and Rev Road is the sponsor of it, has already paid. But they're, they they've paid. committed. We haven't done that. So, we've got Rev Road back on. So, I think I think everything's going well that way. Okay. And we just got to. But the past we've always used Smith's for hot dogs, you know. Are you bringing a bus in? No. no. Uh, oh, I haven't smelled. Kate Smith for all the hot dogs and stuff that we took out. Yeah. But we'll have to see this year because we were going to use that for our touch and truck event. And then it rained out. We went to try to negotiate how many of them we need to buy off of them. And it turned into this big debacle with Smith. So oh, really? we didn't get a grant from him. So we have the money. We just made the chef and Smith's photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll work through that. But I think we're I think everything's moving forward on that. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Hospitality tent, rotary breakfast. Everything's good that way. Same old stuff. That's what we did from last year. Um, baby contest. Haley. So um, I didn't come to report yet. Um, I talked to Nita a little bit before I came, and he said I um, wanted to try and do it at the Oral Rec Center again. Um, and we're hoping to get our own committee together to finish that. And we preserve the Rec Center, so that's all we're concerned. Okay. Has he said anything about how registrations are going to be this year? We're going to do it the same way. So, yeah, he was telling me that we have some issues with um, NCPM, which is our call center. Um, so, I'm just if they're still going to cause a problem for us, I can control the registration and then, like, we can still get the data we need and, you know, whatever the hospital needs to have happy. Um, so, pretty much, I'm going to start to work at the team and see, make sure we don't have any of this initiative. I don't know if people have to open security. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. We can do it a different way if it will be a big problem. I have other ways. Cool. No problem. Okay. Sounds good. Storytelling and prayer awards. 
Let's introduce Ash. Ash is our latest, our most recent committee member. That's the application that came in today. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a close friend that twists her arm a little bit. I think she's got it. So, Ash, would you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Ashley Coleman. Uh, I've lived in Orem for six years. I really like to be here. I grew up in Spanish for. Um, I'm excited to be here and volunteer. I have actually never. That's <laughs> so I just got my binder and I'm excited. Be good. Awesome. Awesome. Um, maybe I can get you in touch with Kirsten. Okay. That's probably gonna be a great time. And I know Oh that's right. Would you mind just giving us a Is there something at BYU that we've partnered with on the storyteller? Okay. Anyway, they're good. <laughs> Yeah, and one thing we had talked about mm -hmm. the last couple months before you got off was we usually have used an on site ice cream, like we used uh, bars. So. And that became really problematic this last time with new ownership. And we have talked about maybe just using like Costco or somebody just getting a really nice ice cream sandwich, it's something just easier to give out. And, because the last year we COVID, they were prepackaged packaged shots ready to go. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, when you get the new ice cream, so it's going to suck. Oh, handles. Oh, handles. Oh, like there's another bee that's right across at the mall. Oh, yeah. The mall has specific things because of the Oh. Um, it's in the mall. Oh, so I'm just thinking there's like that cookie place there, the Mrs. Kavanaugh one in Oh, that's not in the mall. Oh, that's the mall. Oh, my gosh. Actually, I asked every, yeah, I asked for permission for like any, because bars didn't come here and then they finally did. Right. Yeah. And everything wrong with the bars. So it has to be a vendor. Yeah, and I take care of that, so you don't have to worry about that. Unless, <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless we can't find their money, then they live over that part of the We may have to, we may have to do some cop going to buy a bunch of. Yeah. We did try Sweet Tooth Fairy. Okay. That right? That's what we're calling it. Yeah. But that, that didn't go anywhere place. either. They weren't going to give us like mini treats for a dollar a piece. And then we can't, we have a big Smith's gift card from their grants. So we may buy a Smith's, but everybody says, oh, Cocktail, thank you so much. How many want to go from Cocktail? Don't talk that. Don't talk that. Well, was it Jason Cocktail? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
going and visiting each of them to get a name from them. Her name's from them. Uh, how about you bring your sisters again on board this year? I'm, I haven't heard, but I'm assuming. Hey, we'll we haven't even was on five yet, probably not. No, I need mean, his um, Kelby or whatever his name is, is no longer there, so I need to call the bakery over there. Okay. Hey, the bakery wasn't last year that didn't buy. Can um, okay. we request um, not pies? No. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they can't do that. They're like big, giant everything. I'm sure they can wait. That was a mess. Another plastic knife. Yeah. I'll take it. Frosty with my elbow. I'll take it really. No, I'm just thinking that I also didn't want to wash them. Fruit pies would probably be less money than the cream pies. I don't know. Maybe that's why they did the cream pies, was because they cost less, but they okay. were a mess. <laughs> But we can do it again if they're willing to do pies. Just a suggestion. Can we buy the pie with Smith? Yeah, but it's totally more. Oh, three steps. Maybe. Oh, you you got to got to switch off. <laughs> okay. Um, pool party. Yeah. So not much to do yet. We have we have the pool reserve, so we're set there. All we'll have to do is just open up tickets and, and the hospital's um, sponsor. The hospital sponsor will come with some of their tool toys and kind of things. So that, that one's that one's good. And, and usually, Dairy Queen is yeah, Dairy Queen. Well, no, usually we won't. Yeah. And Dairy Queen until like May. Right. Yeah, yeah. They come right out. Yeah, until yeah. so like May. Yeah. yeah. I never hear We've been reached out too, but. So we're good there. Yeah, no, I never hear from him. He always communicates with him. Yeah. I mean, I don't hear from him until I beg him. <laughs> yeah. But you can write before the ads do. Oh, okay. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, parade. Liz. Has it been report yet? Have we opened applications? I don't know. I was going to ask you that if we renewed that. Yeah, we will. Yeah. It's really good. I'm excited to be able to use it for a second year and go, like, can we transfer stuff? From last year. And so I want to play with that and find out what we can transfer, and that would be really good to know. So I, I feel like, like there's a lot more I can get out of it just by digging in with them. You know? Yeah, we'll just put it up the pretty top, and I do have an asset book for the administrators. So we'll see it. I'll leave that set up. It That's seems nice. like people are really anxious about parade. That's the most emails I've received. It's about parade. Everyone's like, when's the parade application open? Oh, that's funny because I, I got like a few between like January and like April, but then most of them, like majority of the applications, came at the very end, like the freaking day of. Okay. Yeah. Almost. Well, that was probably because we weren't sure we were doing it. That makes that a lot of sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Should we worry about that? This year? Are we still worried about that? Are we still up in the air? No, we're, we're, not, we're not worried about it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think that I think we're What's the piece? When do you guys get ready to come to the trip that does the flat trucks? Say that again. For like big contests, you know, with the hay bales. When you guys come to That's me. That's on me. I know, but do they apply? Or oh, I don't know. I'll reach out. I've got a hookup. I've like, got a hookup. I've had some. I've got like four or five. I'm going to So, like, you can just say it. Yeah. 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 Well, I really only just need two. I'm going to leave you on the phone. Oh. Marshall, so. One thing, just to be well, with the new mayor, we have a new mayor and cabinet, good council members. Mayor Francis was big on all the special cars for each yeah. person. I don't think Mayor Young is feeling that way. Okay. But what Christy, our assistant, talked to Mayor Young about was well, they used to just ride in the fire trucks. Okay. And I think he thinks that's great. <gasps> okay. So then we don't. Yeah. Okay. And they used to do that until Mayor Bruns came in and wanted the four star. Um, so that would make staging much easier. And that's what loses a ton of space. And lots and lots of positive feedback on the staging once you're being down okay. there. Yes. So I guess that's huge. Like, like, one email is to confirm that we can still drive. Yeah. In fact, let me just double check on that. Do you, you want your email on that? I'm happy to. Don't you have to come? I'm happy. Let me, let me, let me look for the email. Because you should, because I think we have to like sign a contract with them. So I think that you. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay.
And the great thing is the cost of the six. So yeah. um the the parking's pretty I have a hot wing mess. Yeah. Um bathrooms were situated too. They need to uh, the okay. staging port of so they, they put them down the mold and staging port of oh, area, yeah. and then now they need to be out in this area. Yeah. Um Parking. And will you allow some? I'm watching some views after that. I just dropped eight off. You know, there was like no, which I don't know. This might have been she walked with like the cheer group, so maybe they just didn't communicate it clear. But there was like no, I didn't know like where the drop off section was. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I definitely like sent them maps, but apparently they weren't like we can't even up. So, but also we want to work on like not making it so. So we can wanted to drive in, go over their spot, park their car, unload their stuff, and then drive back out. And it was like, we're not set up for that. And so is that something you foresee being able to do this year? I think with some more like different strategies, but yes. Well, those people just need to come early because once you get all of those kids, like it doesn't matter how old, but like once you get so many more people or the floats, there's no room to do the whole thing. That's one what they need to like and go out. Like I don't like think you're Gonna be driving your car in, but it won't be in the parade. You have to be out of there by five o'clock. Yeah. Like come early, drop off your stuff, but be out of the market by five o'clock. Because after five, it's both vehicles are gonna be in the parade or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. but I feel like because it, that in and out was a mess. It was a hot mess. And the parking. And one of the issues always is you mess with the first with the first organizing. The <laughs> but there's thirty other people dropping their kids off. Especially all those high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it could even walk with Mountain View and like I have no idea. And then I almost got towed where I parked like over by Costco and walked across the street. But like, it, was like, it was the runners. Oh, oh you're in the oh, yeah. like, I ended up parking there because I couldn't come anywhere. And like the manager was like out writing down like Do we need to be um, like do you guys think I need to reach out to Costco and say, hey, can we use your parking lot? Or can you just say Costco closes at six so we're okay? I think so. Not, just make sure like don't but be we didn't the last one. Yeah, but not under corner. And I'll put that in there. Okay, not under corner of the parking lot. And there's also those like apartments right here. So yeah, the Ashton or whatever. Yeah, I thought to right um you just clear with the mall to park there. The mall, and you know, well, I'm wondering if I park post, like, make a PDF, like, send this to your participants and have all the percentage, like, all these like a little map and the bureau. Like, just create the like, maybe this out on the road is like, this is the drop off link, but like, you really have to drop off. I might say, they block the road. Could they do that? Could they block one lane for us, the right lane? Just from oh, just from eight to because yeah. you only have to pull, they have to turn in, and they they drop all people off, and they can be turned back out of there. Hey, Jeremy, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Right. What are your thoughts on um, blocking the lane, the, the right lane from eight hundred east to the church parking lot entrance um, on eight hundred south? As part of the like crazy thing. So give me one second. I'm going to pull up a map so I can visualize it and see exactly what you're asking. There is also a lane just past the church parking lot. Oh, yes. So you're saying. Can you just share your screen, Jeremy? No. Hold one second. I got a lot of I got a lot of things up on my screen, so. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. I'll on Thank you. Give me one second. Can you see my screen? It's the inter. Uh -huh. No. It's the intersection that's like got um, runner's corner and put back and I have a stoplight. It's like maybe seven hundred east, I think. It would be like an eighth mile. It does. It was, uh, yeah. 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 On the bottom, it's like the second square. There you go. And then just click on that. And then you always have the switch tab. There you go. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Wait a second. So here's the runner's corner. Here's Quick Quack. This is going, this is going north. 
just so, so you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, just from like where that red dot is. Um, so the stoplight is the second parking lot entrance. Um, if you're going, if you're going right to left, yeah, right where your mouse is. Yep. Um, so just from there, backwards they east, that right lane. Um, because there were so many people who were dropping off and then pulling right back out of the parking lot, if we could reserve that for parade traffic only, just for like from like five to in that. So like, 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 so my question is is this <sighs> this lane is going westbound yes <clears throat> and so you're wanting me you're wanting us to cut this westbound lane for people yes. to cross over to go east? Uh, no, I, I don't need to go east. I just, it can still be a westbound lane. Um, I just want it to be reserved. Like, even if we just have like cones or signs, if it says parade traffic only in the right lane and then through traffic on the left lane, just because it got, and maybe use it as like a, as a drop off. So, and so again, this is, this is only affecting the westbound traffic. Yes. Correct. Yeah. I mean, we can, we can shut down a lane. That's not, that's not a problem. Yeah. Um, you just got to let me know what you want okay. and we'll just have to arrange to make sure we have the barricades there okay. uh, because we were actually even talking today with some of the officers um, because the way you guys did it last time was perfect where we actually had probably more officers in that area than we really needed and so if we're gonna if we're gonna maybe shut down a lane then that would warrant maybe keeping the same quantity of officers there to assist um, mm -hmm. so yeah, I mean, we can do that. That's not a problem. We just have traffic merge into that, what we call the number one lane. Mm -hmm. this is, as you go westbound from left to right, it's one, two, three. That's kind of how the lanes are. So we, we can just shut down that number two lane, which yeah. is the one that's going to be right here. Yeah, I would still, I wouldn't want it necessarily completely blocked off because I still would like drop off traffic to get into it and then get back out again. Still heading westbound, but have it parked as gray only or drop off yeah. zone or something like that. But at the intersection, like more east. So we can do it. I'll just get with you and we can kind of look at it and then make sure. I mean, it's doable. Um, so if that answers your yeah. question. Okay, awesome. Thank you. It would make some kind of sandwich prior to the intersection. Yeah, it just it is yeah. through traffic or left. Are you talking about traffic that runs into blue traffic? Getting out of the yeah, like, are you talking about signage like up here? Um, yeah. Because they're going west. Um, we're going to East would be blocked by then. So, because East gets blocked at what? Four, right? So, they get blocked by East at four o'clock? Uh, yeah, they're going to get blocked by East at four o'clock. Um, yeah, I think so. I think um, we got that on. Okay. okay. So, so it, I would want like a signage probably a little bit farther east on 800 South so that people who are coming up 800 South right. know. Like maybe, maybe also um, maybe 800 East. Um, a little bit south of um, 800 South, like maybe right next to those apartments and houses. Like, yeah. you know, yes, when you turn left here, you're going to have to walk out. Yeah, just have to walk either direction. Yeah, because this is going to be all shut down. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we're still going to have, we're going right. to still have traffic going west and still have traffic that's going to be going north that will be able to turn either uh, west or, or east. Right. And the ones who are heading west. Just warning them if you're dropping off of the parade, get in the right lane. If you're not, get in the left lane. Yeah, so you have like an electronic sign. Electronic sign. Okay. We, only, we only have two sign rates. Okay. Uh, I know traffic has ordered a couple more, but I don't know if they've even taken the delivery right now. So, but that might be a little bit here. Uh, be flexible there. We can have other signs. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Anything else, please? <laughs> okay, please. So I just we, we signed an agreement in December with the new carnival company. So I just was gonna kind of tell you a little bit about that. This this company is called Silver State Amusements. Uh, they're based out of California. Um, 
we don't know what the pricing will be yet. Usually we've had them agree to a price, but they said right now with inflation and fuel, they just they really they have no idea what they're what it's gonna look like uh, going in. But they did agree that within 60 days of summer fest, they're gonna give us a price that we have to agree on. We'll have to reasonable. But I think I mentioned this before, it won't be as cheap as it used to be. <laughs> Some of you know probably for good cause. Yeah, because <laughs> they uh, they now pay their employees. <laughs> <laughs> and they're slightly more safe, right? And then, yeah, and this one, this one is actually, they do some pretty big uh, carnivals. This is this is a pretty good one. And they wanted to get in the Utah market. They reached out to us when they heard what had happened to a previous uh, vendor. Uh, so we feel really good about it. There just won't be a, uh, Debbie, just so you're aware, they, they won't be able to do the really cheap Thursday night uh, carnival rides. Can you hear us okay, Debbie? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, if we can't, we can't. I'd at least like to have a safe carnival, if nothing else. Yeah, you got to witness my children. <laughs> Almost died. Almost died. My kid got stuck in the... Ferris the wheel. Because the motor gave out, and then... Um, the, yeah, the brakes came out, so then wherever the wave was situated, it would cause it to start flying. I think I told the story. My son, who was nine, is terrified. My daughter is seven to six. is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie wants to know. got a really good one. Uh, they, uh, they, they actually paid for a How serious can you repeat what you said? I, I couldn't hear it very well. No, just that we, yeah, we got a good carnival that is, is well rated. Uh, Pete actually went up and saw some of the rides in the top, top guys. They have good rides, they're well managed, they pay for bailing wages to their employees. Okay, so good. There's no issues with those violations. So we're, we're feeling like, uh, yeah, we're feeling good about where we're at with this. Just like I said, it'll just come at a higher price to, to residents, but, and they will sell wristbands. They do a wristband. So. And did they, remind me that if they, you could use the, the money toward food too, is that right? In yeah. The yeah, like if you don't spend all your money on you don't spend on your money on rights, you can use it on the food. If you buy everything through an app, and that money can translate to food, it can translate to games, it can translate to rides. So if you're stuck, this was one of the things that, that they talked about. People get stuck in a long line of the you know, like that. Right. Um I think it's gonna be an improvement. Pete, let's just make sure we message this correctly because it's a change from previous years, and let's just tout the positives of this new carnival. Okay, it sounds yeah. good. Okay, yeah, that's something we can talk about for sure as we get closer about what kind of um, discounts we can do. We, they, they threw out a rate of what they'll pay us for ticket sales and what like what, what our share is, and that is negotiable. So we already said, well, we want a cheaper price and so give us less money, but we can continue to adjust that and play around with that. That's what it takes to kind of get some of these other deals. So good. How many rides does Rune do? Did you say confirm that? I think they, oh, yeah, sorry. Let's see. Yeah, they have is it going to be separately then, like with the big ones, little ones? Probably. Okay. It makes sense. Figure. Um, you know what? I don't know. That is. That's that's fine. I'm just going to yeah. give you that solution. What do you have to do to bring in the one? Yeah, okay. they said they'll provide sufficient rides and games to meet the demand. So we'll have to have a conversation with them. Right. Stephen, do you know? Do they have any show at all in Utah prior to ours? Yeah. You know what? Uh, they do. They did Beaver County Fair. Okay. Uh, they did some shows at the at the Provo Mall and at the Thanksgiving. Or, um, Wait, are you asking this coming year? You're asking this year. Oh, between now and June, do they have any? So you can see one. If you can reach out and find out. Let me do that. I think you could. If, if it's not, you know, if it's not Brittany City or something, it might be worth 
driving up there for a day, just kind of checking out how much space they're going to need and things like that. Yeah. You guys just want, to, you just want to ride the rides on Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it's in a tropical some place that you would be interested in going to <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I will check to see what their schedule is. Hey, Steve, was it, we set up and agreement with them, like if they're good then they will come back for the next two years and that then decide Yeah, uh, we have... Yeah, we, so we signed them up for the next three years, but we can terminate it at any time with 120 day notice. So if it doesn't go well, we don't have to continue to use them. Okay, that's it. Awesome. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank knew about my daughter's clogging thing last year. They are looking to come back and do something on the stage for Summerfest. Do we do anything like that? Do we do like a, it's about an hour to an hour and a half show. Do we do that during Char Summerfest? Yeah, Charlene's on the call. Char can speak to that. Yes, we will um, sign them up for the best slot that meets their needs. We would love to get kind of a penciled out schedule with, um, we know how how early we need to wrap on Friday for Forum's Got Talent rehearsals and sound check. And then we also had the best idea last year to add in the Scales and Tails shows. And I think that okay. helps. So we can build the schedule around that if we can pencil those things in. Usually with a big dance group, we have put them in like at load in in the morning if they like that just because sometimes they have costumes and um it's easier for them to get get it through so whether they want friday or saturday is important to know and you can just send them my way at ccrozier at I'll, I'll send them i'll send her your way what they're trying to do is go on tour and then end their tour kind of in in the orum so I will just have her reach out to you and then we'll go from there. Thanks, Shark. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. Tell Nancy happy birthday. Okay. Well, sponsorships are coming in slowly, but pretty good. We did get a $5,000 grant from Smith's again, which was great because we haven't gotten that two years in a row before. So yeah. we were surprised by that. Um, Still, I've only sent two emails and we've had, we've already raised 31,000, so oh, awesome. not, you know, but we still have a long way to go. But I sent you a sheet, this is for you to have a man, this is where we are with those different sponsors. <laughs> but there's more to come in. Um, Sarah is on board, I just don't know, we'll see what they're going to do to share. I will let them on it. Sarah, it's just what, what they're saying. The only, um, the only question I have for the committee is Moeller and Company, which owns Canyon Park Tech Center, which is the old was perfect or was it were perfect area. Um, they want to sponsor the appreciation dinner um, and they would like to do it at their place at Canyon Park. So I just, if that is good with everyone, we talked about this always in the library hall, but they're really, they did a really nice building too. This is Debbie. They did a really nice job catering the Christmas. I think they would do a bang up job for the appreciation. So I think they want to highlight their buildings anyway. So that'd be great. Char, would you be okay if you didn't use the library hall? No, Sorry, we're fine with whatever works best for the event. We're just fine. Okay. Okay. So we did so. it one step before. Well, we did it. At, we've done it at the, the culinary, culinary, but this is a different situation. Oh, okay. same, same area. Same business park. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let them know then. Yeah, that's pretty. 
So they'll they'll be our new donor. That's a new donor for the yeah. awesome. Can I ask, did, did Dastrop Insurance drop out or just, we just changed? They haven't, he hasn't done it for the last couple of years. Okay. So Steve Schellenberger's on board to do it for, so we need about 5,000. So Steve's doing half and Mueller will do probably half. Okay. All, Sounds great. They Thank you. Oh, if you guys have any needs, let me know. So if you need sponsors for certain things or you need things, let me know. That Smith card goes a long way. The kickoff party university place has usually got our sponsor on that. I'm assuming they'll be at that. I'm sure. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard from them, but I'm assuming. And that helps pay for the travel and storyteller and the band. Do they ever do like face painting and bouncy houses or things like that at the kickoff? We haven't done that though. No. Um, okay. We've had conversations about it in the past. But I think where we have fallen, and I'm not saying we do this forever, but is that um, kind of the rest of the week is that kind of a uh, you know party. And this one's more of a, um, you see a lot of uh, like older couples come to sit and enjoy, like different crowds that maybe you might see at the Okay, so the like a little bit more like the warm. Yeah, there's definitely yeah. support kids, but just kind of look quiet and okay. enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's a great like, thing. Yeah, you're right. Good one. Good. Hey, instead of just one yeah. free thing you got at the kickoff party, why don't we just be the thing? Is it it? Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Dave, Dave I can get I another contact. Yeah, so yeah. That you know. why don't they have a thing? Okay, so we sponsor it or let our. Let our vendor, like even whether they want to attend by yourself, that's a good idea. So, let me get you in touch with Jared Mauer. Okay. He's a he's the university place contact. But I actually really like that. It's kind of like that taste of the mall type of thing. Yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of smaller shops, but there's, you know, other than just like Chick fil A or franchise, yep, yep. there's a lot of local shops in there. It might be. Especially if they just have like almost like 10 by 10. Or you guys did your social track and stuff. Like, there's another parking lot. Yeah, I think I know that would be there. So, let's do Let's do it. 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 Finding the solar model mm -hmm. is um, separate to so we say, hey, every place we need to sort of fifty bucks out a couple of your cons. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe like, like, so. like a little dance event, for example. Yeah. yeah. Keep it small. Or if you guys want to do something, like I know that. Like, maybe not just drink another. They could do like a taste thing like that. Yeah. But I'm picturing like because even some of the samples you can say, do we help you with the cost of your activities? <laughs> But they're going to be the sample. Yeah. Okay. Really good. I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. It is not You have to say it's made or something. Oh, yeah. You're at one sample branch. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can never mind and just come back once, two sliders. Also, each individual line has a different stamp or something. Or something that we will. Or a little passport. Well, no, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a dream. Do I think Andrea got more volunteers like pass out those cards? Just like an info table. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. It could be at the table that you're passing out the waters. Because we already made the table that passes out the water, so they can just come to the table to get the water bottle and then we can give them a card for them to go to the, yeah, the to the to the food yeah. vendor and they can like scribble off, scratch off, punch off, you know, whatever they choose yeah. that food vendor to do. If you get a lot of interest in that. You really might want to consider using that parking lot for that or something. Because at least for the session, we have a special contest. Yeah. 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 Y
When they did the farmer's market, they had the booths facing the sidewalk. So you could do that, have the booths all facing the sidewalk on both sides of them. Yeah. Oh, like around the farmer's market. The farmer's market had the mall. Yeah. So what it used to be over the at the mall? They just had the booths facing the the Yeah. We'll set up the meeting with the events that usually look like little pavilion things too. Well, that's where we're going to have a lot. Oh, if you have a long time, though, you want to be careful because if you have multiple booths and then you have the lines and then you have nowhere to go. Yeah, it has to have so they have the traffic control. Like a lot of traffic control. Hey, awesome. And Reed is not here. Reed, yeah, Reed's mom passed away kind of suddenly oh. this last week. He's not here. But we will email out the budget. So okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, parks. Tim. Uh, just kind of getting set up. Let me go to Carnival and kind of look that direction. Uh, I did talk to Keith earlier about getting new banners. We need to spend some money and get a refresh. We have a lot of sponsors on our old ones and we've ruined a lot of we did with the Marley <laughs> windstorms and whatnot. So we'll spend some money on those, get a new design figured out, and go that direction. We'll have some on the street and in the park. And fix one of the trade matters that we can spill a little bit. <laughs> mistranslated. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Mis mistranslated. Just fresh. Yeah. <laughs> um, other than that, just all the weird what's going on. So it'll come out. It'll come for the fashion when it gets closer. Great. Thank you. Laura, do you have a little look on the website and see if your um, volunteer opportunities are posted where you want it? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. And Charlene. Just really what I mentioned before, we haven't always scheduled uh, scales and tails shows on all three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but it doesn't cost us more to add them in and it, it helps build the, you know, the family uh, events. So I think we should do that this year if we're talking to scales and tails and then um trevor do we have a multi-year contract for sound at the summer fest or do we need to um procure it again this year in a competitive way i think i think trevor i think trevor dipped out okay we're always we're always pleased with mammoth sound so i'll just work with uh trevor to find either mammoth or whatever a uh, professional sound for both the entertainment and the parade. And then we'll just fill the slots. We always, um, we always just try and pick family friendly things. So as soon as we have the penciled in slots for scales and tails and the Orem's got talent, we'll fill the rest of them from the community. Sounds good. Sorry. Is there any kind of like a concert Series that you guys do through this? Not as part of Summerfest, but we do have a summer concert series in the park that the library puts on. Does that start the week after Summerfest? Like that's, that's when, that doesn't conflict with the. Campus. Yeah, when does that kick off, Char? The summer concert we used, series? We used to do it the Monday right after Summerfest, but we have found that our attendance is better and it's easier if we move it all into the same fiscal year because we do it with grant money. So uh, it starts the first. Monday in July, unless there is a 4th of July conflict and it goes through the middle of August. And then we have uh, worked with the, um, the rock, the rock and roll fest to close it out. So we do six or seven Mondays starting in July and it's worked better. Uh, families have liked it a little bit more and it's worked better for grants. Great, thank you. Um, Jason is not here. And the risk management, that, that's mostly internal stuff we'll work through on the grievance. Yeah. Hey, Pete. Yeah, so uh, thank you to those that sent their pictures in. And if we need to get some pictures, I can take them now well, of the new people. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. No, well, just for the new people, but I guess if you want yours changed, Probably. you can do that. Just send it in. That's right. <laughs> there they are. Um, yeah, so we'll get the magazine rolling, update the website, get all this stuff ready to go. Same social media type of stuff. I think, I think, you know, we'll be, be on top of it. Working on the messages. There's a variety of messages. Out right. There. Yeah. So I'll be reaching out to each of you individually to, for your little blurb in the magazine or any, like, website or social media content we might need. So, but other than that, this is the year, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Every year. You're all cool. Hey. Thanks, Pete. And Trevor is not here. Yeah, we'll get there. Trevor put the agreement together for this whole carnival thing, so props to Trevor. Awesome. Hey, Jeremy. I don't have anything at this time. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, and Keith. Keith is with us. I'm here. <laughs> Um, I don't have anything right now. I, the mass gathering permit will have will get put together um, in April is when they'll want to see that at the county health department. Um, but yeah, this early in the game, not a lot for for me or the fire side with the paramedics. We'll make sure we have the amount of paramedics we need. Um, be ready to go. I it expired in October. <laughs> Don't worry, we have 17 year olds. <laughs> one of us has to get one. We have, we have, we have an 18 year old that will have his. So okay. we'll just bring, just bring him. him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Debbie, do you have any comments? Um, I think I will continue on with Summerfest. I don't think the new mayor is going to change a lot this year. Um, thank yeah, you for your. Can you just give us word, Debbie? I mean, you Thank probably should hear from him, not me, but uh, he did give us word to keep it the same for this year. Okay, sounds good, um, which I'm happy about. You guys do a great job. Um, I think you, this is one of the best events of the year for our families. I'm excited to have a new and improved carnival that will be safe and nice. I love the idea of, of the being able to spend on food if you, do, you know, because those lines become an annoyance. Once again, thanks to all of you. And appreciate all your hard work. Thank you. Okay, so our next meeting is. I got the paper. I just have to find out where I put it in my. <laughs> is it February 16th? February 16th. Okay. Okay, I took the early so I'm going to do it this old hat every now so I put it in and I'm like, I just. So Warren United, and the Grand Marshal is the United Way of New South County. But we're recognizing all of our, kind of our non-profit community stuff. With a Ted Lasso look-alike contest. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting soccer shirts. We're getting soccer shirts and the polos. That's right. But you probably have to start looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You don't want to work. You don't rather than later. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Later. In fact, we can probably use, use UVU. That's what I was thinking. We have a relationship with UVU where we get to use their their pricing for their Adidas stuff. Um, yeah. That's how you Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nobody else has anything? We will adjourn until February 16th. Uh, same time, 5 15. We have a second. I will second your motion to adjourn. I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if anybody wants to
Yeah, please take some pizza. There's